Alright guys, I want to introduce you to a personal close friend of mine, Mr. Bill Reinhardt. Uh, Bill is, um, I guess you you run the place here at Ford Racing. Don't tell Dan McKee uh, that. Yeah, that. Yeah, no. So tell him what you do, Bill. <laughs> I'm an accounts executive, that's my main priority. I absolutely adore it. It's uh, my opportunity to get people to come in from all over the world, literally, for our schools. And then uh, secondarily, if I behave myself, they let me instruct during the day and play with the cars. Yeah. And Bill is a very unique guy. Um, a lot of you probably know him already. If you don't, now you officially do. <laughs> Bill has this really great talent of finding ways to put himself into the coolest situations out there. What's some of the coolest stuff you've done? Most recently, actually. Well, most recently, uh, last week, I actually just got back from Le Mans, 24 hour of Le Mans. Uh, we had 50 years ago, this past weekend, uh, four GT 40s won one, two, three. And I've got the distinct privilege of uh, actually helping manage and tend the uh, collection for the Miller family. And so uh, the uh, 1015 serial number GT40 uh, 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 Ken Miles drove to a second place overall 50 years ago. Uh, all three of those 123 finishers were invited to Le Mans this year. Uh, Ford went. Uh, they were celebrating their 50th anniversary with an effort to race the four GTs. So I just barely got back from Le Mans. Uh, had the opportunity to, to take this distinct uh, four GT40 Mark II 427 and do some uh, hot laps on the Mulsanne straight, the rest of the circuit. Actually, had the president CEO Mark Field right with me one of the one of the laps. Uh, absolutely, it's just an amazing weekend. We had all three of those classic cars on track together. First time in well, at Le Mans in 50 years. Uh, we also uh, stayed for the race, obviously, and Ford won. One, three, four, and nine. Uh, absolutely a, a feat for a brand new team, which they basically are, uh, technically. Um, the uh, collection for uh, the Miller Group, uh, it's the most uh, significant collection in the entire world. One of the uh, real significant cars is one of the six Daytona Cobra Coupes. Uh, the particular one that the Millers own actually won Daytona, Sebring, Le Mans, and Goodwood. And I had the distinct privilege of taking it to Goodwood this past year and uh, reuniting all six cars together. Got to do numerous laps at speed. Uh, so what Adam's talking about, uh, I'm like the luckiest guy on the planet. Pretty much. So um, introduce the uh, GT350 Absolutely. Here. Uh, the new Shelby GT350, amazingly, uh, just came out uh, this year. It's a uh, uh, literally not a reproduction by any means, but it has to do with the 1965-66 uh, GT350s that Carroll Shelby built out of uh, factory-based uh, stock Mustangs. This car is absolutely incredible. It comes in basically two models. It's got the GT350 and the GT350R. Uh, these cars, they just uh, engineered a brand new motor. They call it a flat crank. Uh, it's a 5.0, about 5.1, but the car puts out 524 horsepower. It redlines at 8,200 RPM, and it's got 560 pounds of torque. So what a unique situation today for us to be with the Ford Performance Racing School and the GT350s. We have 18 of these cars available for owners. So if you're an owner of a GT350, Ford sends you to Salt Lake City for a one or a two day school. So we just finished up um, the GT350 track attack today. Uh, basically it's an owner program. So folks that own these cars actually got to come out and we teach them how to drive them. And upper management, they don't want you to come out and, and drive these cars easy. Literally they tell you, come out and drive them like you stole them. And that's our intent. I think that is officially permission to go out and have some fun. Oh, everything I learned about racing, I learned from Bill. <laughs> it's true. Um, so we're going to go play in the cars and uh, yeah, stick around. This should be fun. That's sweet.
fourth gear on most straights, not necessarily through faster, but also the shorter shift on the straights, just to get into fourth gear, uh, relieve the engine for just an instant, and then I'm right back to third gear anyway. I love this corner. 